All right, everyone, here is the technique that is called Nashibi, and it is developed in Georgian mountains, uh, particularly the part of the Georgian um, Caucasian mountains that um, Hefsurs were living, and that's developed by them. It is the technique of um, making stitch on the knitted fabric um, on the tricot, like um, they first would um, knit the uh, socks and then they would make their famous stitch and then this can be done in different colors, different patterns but at this point I made this because um, I saw it somewhere when I was young um, I think maybe my grandmother or my aunts were doing this and then it um, stuck in my memory and then I wanted, I had a little nostalgia and I made these socks but um, really you can do any kind of um, um, color combinations you can use different patterns and all that um, and right now I would like to I would love to show you how it is done this is one beautiful technique that um, all of us are going to enjoy it all right let's see how it is done um, let me tell you one thing about these um, stitches. Most difficult part here is to find straight lines. Whenever I taught this, um, anyone who wanted to know, they had the most difficulties to align um, stitch because that gets confusing after you have a knitted fabric like this and then especially um, when you hold a sock. Um, one thing I really need to mention from the beginning now, I made um, the fabric for a convenience for the recording um, sake of the um, recording of the video. However, when uh, it's the same here, it just like would not be very uh, comfortable for me to show you how um, I would do the stitches, but what you should do when you do um, socks you have to put your hand here all the way um, to the bottom or all the way to the place wherever you are stitching and your hand should be in the middle while you are doing this um, procedure so this part and then that part doesn't get sewed together by the you know by the mistake so you always have to have your hand in the middle okay this is um, rule of thumb now um, another thing that you have to actually get used to it and it could be a little bit frustrating from, from for the first time it took me a while until I myself understood how to align lines the straight lines these are most difficult part to overcome in this kind of um, stitching okay but um, don't worry I have this figured out for you let me show you how um, here's this little tricky part about how to recognize one stitch but it's not really difficult it will take you some getting used to it okay for instance I know that this is one stitch here okay see it goes like this okay let me make um, yellow overline so you actually can see this what I'm talking about okay see that's how every single stitch is made when we um, see that that's how every stitch goes this way okay now that is here next to it let me show you here next to it if we do overline our stitch like that this is one stitch see so basically we overlaid our um, working yarn on top of this 
okay but we don't use this kind of a stitching as a technique it was just an um, just an example to show you that stitches go like that and then what we do we just simply find um, every stitch like it's like almost like having a grid okay and then basic technique here was like to overlay um, overlay working yarn on on it mostly on one and two stitches like it's a mostly done in two two stitches see this how it's done two stitch and then two stitch and then two stitches so some people like this double here when when you come at the end see I like it double see I always done double on one stitch when when I end but it it's not necessary it depends what you like and how you would like to go um, with this but it's the basically uh, the technique there is not um, much to it but the, the uh, most problematic part and the most trickiest part is here to recognize a grid in in those stitches okay now that um, let's say we want to do it on top we will take see we, we did it on this um, stitches here we overlaid our um, yarn but now we will do this here see one stitch and then we will overline this on the next two see that I actually should not have bring this yarn up here but it's okay see that's all it is it's not difficult really not difficult um, you have to actually get used to the idea that grid in this kind of um, um, stitching is um, made up from the stitches and once you get used to it then it's really not going to be difficult Alright, I've seen this done in many different yarns, but I like um, just a regular sewing thread, a white one. Um, you can use any colors for leaves, for flowers, um, but I found this yarn delicate and um, gorgeous looking. And I would take um, yarn and um, double or triple it. So. Um, it gives texture to the it gives texture to the fabric. It gives the um, nice delicate look to the um, work itself. Okay. And the first thing we need to do here, we need to mount mount the. Uh, mount the yarn okay so it doesn't slip away so you can put it pretty much anywhere just mount it really tight so it doesn't slip out yeah, pretty much so okay and now we go to the other side we already found our baseline and this is what we do Here is our stitch. See, what I'm doing is I have my stitch right here. See these lines here? It's my baseline. Okay, see that? This is the stitch. Okay, that's my first move. And ta da! Now I have this one. Now this is simplest, um, simplest one to do. Okay, I simply can go in and do this on the next one. Okay. And that's how you create this kind of a effect there's a lot you can do with this but I am just showing you 
what I have particularly on, on this one. Okay, now you can go on this side now. And the side, um, it's like pretty much, they are sitting like pretty much um, like little cubes. If you imagine that this one stitch is a little cube, okay, then um, next one would go a little upper, okay. So now this is where I am, and if I want to move diagonally like this, want to move a little bit up. Now, next one it will be right here next to it, but I want to do here. So, to create the diagonal effect. See that? See, I have this one right here, but I need to go to higher now. Okay. Um, this is our diagonal effect and now I'll show you how to do the, um, the flowers, the leaves, okay? Um, before you remove stitch you need to make it, um, mount it, um, make it tight here, um, not really tight tight but so this um, end doesn't come off and then We don't lose our um, stitch. Okay, so this is pretty much it. All right, let's try to do flower now. Something like simple, like this, this one. So my um, suggestion would be, if you have not done this before, just try to exercise on just a plain fabric like that try to do those patterns before you do an actual sock okay um let's do a little flower here again you in it translate this into the grid now this is my i'm sorry i would to do this here. Okay, I have a one. I have a one stitch here and then I have a one, two, three here and then one on top of it. Okay, um, let's see. And that's how it will be done. Okay, and now I need to make another one like this right on top of it. And we are done. See that? Okay. Now let's do another flower like this like this one. 